Trump just announced a $500 billion AI project called Stargate, and it's about to create the biggest wealth building opportunity since the internet. But here's what most people are missing. It's not just about big tech. This announcement really signals the start of an AI golden age that anyone can participate in if you know how to position yourself. In this video, I'll break down exactly what Stargate is and more importantly, how you can position yourself to get a slice of this and future billions in AI investment under the Trump presidency over the coming four years. For those new to the channel, a quick introduction from me. My name is Liam Otley and just two years ago, I started my AI journey uh, with zero experience in the space. And since then, I've gone on to build multiple AI businesses that have generated me and my team over $4 million in that past two years. And I've also helped thousands of other people from all walks of life to do the same as how to get into the AI space through this channel and through my communities as well. So just a bit of context on me, let's dive in. So what exactly is Stargate? So on 21st of January, President Trump stood alongside three tech giants. You've got Sam Altman from OpenAI, you've got Larry Ellison from Oracle, and Master Sun from SoftBank to announce a $500 billion investment in American AI infrastructure. The initial commitment of this is $100 billion with plans to expand to a further $500 billion over the next four years. And unlike many political announcements, this isn't just talk. They've actually started construction for this infrastructure in Texas already. But what are they actually building with this AI infrastructure stuff? So let me break this down in simple terms. They're basically building massive data centers, but you can think of these as kind of factories of the AI age. But let me explain why this matters first. So you take ChatGPT, for example. First, it needs to be trained. So imagine teaching a child by showing them millions of books and conversations. Uh, this is the training process, which requires an enormous amount of computing power from data centers. Then once it's trained, it needs even more computing power to run the model for the millions of users simultaneously all over the globe. So every time you use ChatGPT, you're using data center power in order to generate those responses on your computer. So right now, there's a bit of a shortage of this computing power in America specifically, and that's why AI is still fairly expensive with OpenAI charging $20 per month for the ChatGPT Plus. But with more data centers from things like Stargate, we get more computing power to train new and more powerful AI models. We get cheaper costs to run these models at scale, which means lower prices for businesses and consumers like you and I when using these AI models and tools. And ultimately, more innovation in the AI space as a whole, as it becomes cheaper to experiment with AI on as, as consumers and as businesses, but also for these big companies to experiment through training new models entirely. It's a pretty simple equation, really. You've got more data centers, which equals more computing power, which equals cheaper AI, which equals more innovation, and it equals basically a bigger opportunity for everyone, if you're using AI, of course. But here's where things get really interesting, and that's that Trump isn't just throwing this money at AI, he's actively removing barriers from these companies. So on day one, as soon as he walked into the presidency, he revoked all of Biden's AI regulations. This sends a pretty clear message, and that's that America under the Trump presidency is going all in on AI, and investors all over the world are all for it. Like they say, history doesn't repeat itself, but it does rhyme. And we've actually seen this playbook before from the Clinton and Gore uh, administration in 1993, when they launched the National Information Infrastructure Initiative, which is kind of colloquially known as the information superhighway. And this is them committing billions to internet infrastructure and deliberately reduced the regulations in order to help the web and, and booming internet industry to explode. And what happened next was known as one of the greatest wealth creation events in history, which from 1995 to 2000, we saw companies like Amazon and eBay and Google basically emerge from nothing. And you've even got these small web design agencies that go from zero to billion dollar valuations in just three to four years. And this of course, is known as the dot-com boom or dot-com bubble, depending on the angle you look at it. This Stargate announcement is basically the, the starting gun of the AI golden age, you could say. We now have a four-year runway with a pro-AI administration, in the US at least, with massive government backing and private investment pouring in from every angle. And so the barriers are really coming down for AI and the infrastructure is being built and the money is definitely flowing. And the best part about this is that unlike those early internet days where you basically needed to be some kind of technical genius to participate in the wealth creation, AI tools are becoming more and more accessible by the day. And this means basically anyone willing to learn can position themselves to catch this kind of wave, just like I've done over the past two years. So how exactly can you position yourself to capitalize on this AI golden age we're walking into? Let me show you what's about to happen and why learning AI and starting your own AI business is your best entry point, even if you're not a tech person. So right now we are seeing the exact same pattern that happened in the 90s with the web. As I said before, back then businesses knew that they needed to get on the internet, but they had 
no idea how to do it, which created a massive opportunity for smart entrepreneurs who could really bridge this gap between the two. Take the company agency.com, for example. They started in 1995, simply helping businesses to build their first websites. And within four years, they were worth $2 billion. Or you can look at something like Razorfish, where they started with $3,000 in capital. And by 2000, they were making $268 million per year in revenue by helping these businesses to adapt to the web. So today businesses know that they need to do this AI thing, but they have no idea where to start. And this is where things called AI automation agencies or triple A's come in. And it's just like web agencies in the nineties, like I just discussed, they're basically helping businesses to implement and benefit from this new technology that is AI. And thanks to Stargate and Trump's very pro AI stance, starting an AI automation agency and building a service-based business within the AI space is really about to explode as an online business and just business opportunity generally. And here's why. Firstly, you have lower costs. So more data centers mean cheaper access to AI models and AI tools. And as an AI automation agency, your services can become more affordable to your clients while actually increasing your margins over time. Secondly, more data centers and investment in AI will ultimately lead to better technology, just like Sam Altman announced the new O3 model from OpenAI coming in March. This is kind of just starting to snowball. And according to some of the world's smartest tech investors, AI is going to make more progress per quarter Insane. in 2025 than it did per year in 23 and 24. This means that you can expect a constant stream of more powerful solutions that you can sell your clients on as part of your AI service offering. Thirdly, we're gonna have less regulation as we've seen with Trump already removing Biden's AI restrictions. This means there's gonna be fewer barriers to entry for people getting in and also generally less friction for us operating one of these businesses and less headwinds to fight against. And finally, a pretty important one to point out, the White House is now actively promoting AI instead of fear mongering. This means there's gonna be a huge amount of news and media coverage all around the world and particularly within the US, meaning that more businesses will be aware of AI and its positive potential and will be more likely to actively look for AI solutions that you can sell and provide to them. And the best part about this is that in order to get a slice of this AI actions going on, you don't need to build data centers or create these AI models. You just need to learn how to implement existing AI tools and models to solve business problems, which is something that anyone could learn with the right guidance. There's so much free information available online now. Or even simpler, you can just leave the tech stuff out entirely and avoid building systems. You can focus on education and consulting to help businesses to understand AI and identify the best use cases within their business. But of course, this opportunity won't last forever. And just like the web agencies of the 90s, the biggest winners will be those who get in early and establish themselves now while competition is low. So let me wrap this up by putting the $500 billion Stargate announcement in perspective. I think 500 billion isn't just a number, it's, it's more of a signal that tells us for the next four years at least, America is going to be going all in on AI. They have a pro AI president and massive government backing seemingly and a, a lot of private investment flowing into the space. The barriers are coming down and the infrastructure is being built. But what makes this moment truly unique really is for the next four years, we know exactly the direction we're heading in. And based on what the experts like Sam Altman are talking about, this four year window could be one of our last predictable periods before super intelligent AI comes in the picture and just changes everything and we can't predict it anymore. So really, we all have two choices. We can either sit from the sidelines and, and watch as others build wealth and establish themselves in this booming AI economy that's developing, or we can position ourselves now while the opportunity is obvious and the path is clear, at least for the next four years. I mean, I know what I'm trying to do, but I can't speak for all of you, of course, but if you are interested in getting into this and sort of making the most of this four year runway that the Trump administration is giving us with the AI golden age, if you want to call it that, um, you can join my free school community. I have a free course on there. We're the biggest AI community on the entire school platform. And if you want to get in there and meet people who are interested in this stuff as well, to learn more about building a business in the space, uh, to hop on calls and, and get on my Q and A's and ask me questions directly, it's all available there. It'll be the first link in the description. Um, so yeah, I think this is great news for the AI space as a whole. As I said before, the starting gun has been fired here and the next four years are yours to make the most of it. So if you're interested in this stuff, don't waste it. I'll see you in the community.